Many years ago, I made my most hated, thumbed down, vilified video of all time. And it started out innocently enough. I didn't think it was going to be as such because at that time, convict conditioning was out and old Paul Wade. And as any self-respecting push-up aficionado, I was using push-up handles for a lot of my push-up routine. And I even made my own pair out of some PVC. It was a very clever design. I was very proud of it. But shortly after Convict Conditioning came out, Dragon Door came out with a supplemental PDF called the Convict Conditioning Superfax. And in that, Paul Wade talked about how he wasn't a big fan of using push-up handles and that we're losing out if we're not doing push-ups with our hands on the floor. Well, I wasn't entirely convinced of that, but I figured, hey, I'll give it a try. And for several months, I did all of my push-up work without the push-up handles. And at the end of that, I had to conclude old Uncle Paul was right because my joints felt better, my push-ups were stronger, I had more control, I was advancing in my technique a lot faster. So I made that infamous video saying, hey guys, I think we're better off without the push-up handles in our training. And man, oh man, did the peasants come out with torches and pitchforks wanting my head on a stake. How dare I suggest that we're better off without push-up handles. Well, the other day I got an email from someone saying, hey, you made that video a long time ago, haven't heard anything from it since. What are your thoughts on it now? First and foremost, I wanna make it clear that I'm talking about the dependence on push-up handles. There's nothing wrong. I don't see anything wrong with going with regular push-up handles, but like myself back in the day, I wasn't very comfortable keeping my hands on the ground. And so I was using them literally as a crutch for push-ups. So it's using them in that way that I'm not a big fan of. But of course, like any actual physical crutch, they have their place and their purpose. I've had many clients over the years who do have actual hand issues or wrist injuries and such, and they're like, I physically can't put my hands on the ground. And I'm like, well, yeah, then we're gonna have to use push-up handles, and I have nothing against using that in those applications. But in all honesty, I would much rather use something like the Kensui Ascent platforms or putting the hands on a set of yoga blocks so we can still get that flat palm control over the push-ups and we can curl our fingers down, which takes some of the stress off the wrist instead of having to depend on those push-up handles. Furthermore, I've been able to learn how to address a lot of the criticisms that I've received from that video. First of which is people are like, well, your hands hurt and it's not natural to be on the floor. It's very, very hard on the wrists when you're putting your hands on the floor. And that certainly can be the case but we don't want to use something that enables whatever weaknesses that are causing that pain to persist because it's only going to get worse. So instead, I've learned that one of the biggest issues with the wrists, with push-ups, isn't the wrist itself, it's the shoulders and back control. I've made many videos about the dreaded push-up hunch. When we hunch our shoulders up like this, it puts tremendous amounts of stress in all of the joints involved in the push-up. But when we can pack our shoulders down and back, that relieves a lot of that stress. Furthermore, having those handles makes it harder to keep the hands under the chest for a lot of progressive push-up techniques. Because eventually, doing push-ups like this is gonna go by the wayside. We're going to wanna put our hands more under our chest for things like uh, close push-ups, archer push-ups, shifting push-ups, and so on. And that's one of the biggest limitations that often holds people back from ascending to much more progressive variations of push-ups, and they just get stuck doing push-ups like this all the time, and then they wonder why they're not getting bigger and stronger from doing their push-ups. Another big common lament that people had was, well, if you're off the ground, and you can get between your hands, then that's gonna give you a bigger range of motion and that's gonna be better for your push-ups and everything. And they're sort of correct, but they're not actually getting that range because of the handles. What's actually happening isn't that they're getting between their hands, it's because their shoulder is finally coming back. So the bottom line is that you can get a lot of the benefits of using push-up handles without having to depend and use push-up handles. And that's the biggest thing I wanted to really hammer home is that a lot of calisthenics training is using the hands on the floor, crawling, handstands, bridge work, so on. And so if we become too dependent on those handles, we're either not doing those exercises or greatly reducing the amount or the progressions of those exercises. And so we're not just limiting our ability to do better, stronger push-ups, we're limiting our entire calisthenics training that's done on the floor. 
Here's some push-up micro workouts so you can practice as well as well as one of my favorite wrist exercises to build indestructible wrists for isometric training. And uh, if you like this, like it, share it, all that good things. Thank you so much for watching. Be fit and live free.